Hi, welcome to BSI Spotlight Series. I'm Mr. Daves. Once in a while, I'm going to find awesome people at BSI and share their story and life lessons through video. Today, we talk to Miss Rodriguez and Miss Hickman, the besties of BSI. They share their thoughts on what it takes to be besties, and they share their wisdom while teaching us how to navigate friendship through the tough times and the good ones. If you know someone with a story to tell for our next video, be sure to let me know. Please enjoy the besties of BSI. I didn't even give her a chance to introduce herself or anything. I just, we were eating in the, in the, lounge, in the lounge. And I literally was like, oh my gosh, who are you gonna be with? Yes. And then I followed her around like Donkey Dash Shrek until she was my friend. That's a true story. Though. No, yeah. I wouldn't call it weird, it's funny. Like, okay, so sometimes when we're in the hallways, she'll just run toward me and then I'll have to drop all my stuff and catch her in my arms. It's a test. And people she are like, what's time. going on? Yeah, first time I really failed. I guess if you consider that weird. And then sometimes we'll just go on laugh sprees and nobody will know why we're laughing. Hold on, wait. Do you know what mine would be for you? Do you know what mine would be for you? <laughs> Are you thinking she would be on time? She would be on time? I would just, for her, I just would want her not to stress about things so much and feel like she's always like doing stuff wrong. But like, oh, that's a good one. But that's it. Too, but we're the same person. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. There's so many. I, well, one of them is uh, not to trust everybody. Like, not everybody's your friend. Uh, when I first met her, it was like, I would just tell everybody business. And she would like say, you know, not everybody's your friend. And like, they'll use that against you. And it happened a lot of times. And then another one is um, expectations. Like, I would put expectations on people. And I would get... I would be the one getting hurt and so you know that's the thing that she taught me not to put expectations on people or situations and stuff like that it's okay to be you and the kids will love you for it like i didn't have to change because for a while i felt like i wasn't professional enough like compared to a lot of other teachers and then so like watching her helped me realize like no i can be me and it is professional enough and so she'd always kind of keep me grounded on that I did buy her a mug one time with my face on it. Oh yeah, so cute. So, so that was cute. super nice. I trip her in the hallway, which I think is nice, but she does it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep me on my toes. A few times, mm -hmm. a few times. Even yes. recently, um, I had said something and like, I didn't mean it toward her. Like it was just like, there was a moment where I was like, I had to go to the doctor but I was gonna have to have somebody drive me back. And so I was like, like there's nobody I can ask that's just gonna stop and, and help me out when I need it. And so like it bothered her because this is somebody I can, that will stop anything that she has going on to do it for me. But me making that comment kind of, you know, but I had to apologize because I'd never meant that. So, I mean, there's times we just apologize just to. But I also felt comfortable to go to her and tell her like that bothered me. You know, I wasn't like, just, oh my gosh, that bothered me so bad about her, da, 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 da. You know, like, I felt comfortable to go to her and say, hey, when this happened, it hurt my feelings. And she was like, oh, and we talked about it, and that was that. Yeah. Oh, COVID. <laughs> COVID. I think a lot of people, like, kind of disconnected through COVID, but COVID actually brought us together, mm -hmm. like, so, um, but other people, I mean, there's been times like people try to come in between a friendship and um, like if you're not strong or confident in your friendship, that'll allow it. And just like life being busy in general, like. Oh, when we first uh, became friends or like got close, I guess, uh, <clears throat> she had somebody planning her wedding and that person dropped out at the last minute. And so that was a challenge and we had to plan a wedding in, yes. it was just a matter of weeks that we had to do the decorations yes. and, it. and I felt like that was a challenge. Yes. And then my house, I turned around and then <laughs> had to move into a new house. It was a mess and that was a challenge because we also had schoolwork that we needed to get yeah. done. Our videos that we had to get done. She was in a, was it GT or some kind of program? And we just had so much going on, but we overcame all oh, of yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, for like my PPR and stuff like that. And Finish then uh, when I moved into my other house too, yes. 
she helped me with all of that. That was a challenge too. But even in teaching too, just just the challenges that come here, I don't think I would survive if right if it wasn't for her. So it's like they're easy to overcome because we have each other. And I think for me, being more of a closed off person, me planning that wedding, like once that person dropped out, feeling like I'm gonna drown now, and her immediately stepping in from start to finish, even so much as like buying the flowers that I was so worried about. I mean, that for me, let me know like this person cares about me, not for what I can give or for what I can do. Like she just truly cares about me as a person. And so that was like the defining moment for me. I know the kids love it. Like I know that a lot of kids have like began to admire like and realize like people can be genuine friends with each other. Like. And it's allowed us to be, like, have a lot of teachable moments with them, like, and where they're able to realize, like, okay, well, then maybe this girl wasn't a true friend because you and your friend would never do that. Like, there's been moments where, um, like, we'll do inspiration cards and kids have been like, well, I want to write mine to Miss Rodriguez, but I don't want, like, to offend you. And I'm like, please write it to her. Like, I love her. Like, mm -hmm. she is my favorite. I would write her an inspiration card every single day. Like, please write it to her. And they're like, you won't get mad and I'm like I love I her so too. much yeah <laughs> like no and just uh like the little jokey moments will will play fight and they'll be like "Ooh, fight 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 we all are mad at each other and we're like never. we would never fight we would never a lot right but lot. I think there's a reason others might not know so I, I think we're not supposed to say if others might not know that's what like I know I can tell her stuff and nobody will ever know it right nobody no matter what it doesn't matter even it doesn't matter unless i'm like in danger or you know someone's right. gonna get hurt then of course but other than that okay so keeping secrets uh for your bestie is important to establish trust like you want your friend mm -hmm. to know hey i can trust you with my personal things things about me that i don't want others to know so that's number one. Um, it's important to have somebody you can go to that you can trust and they're not going to tell things. Um, the only time it's okay not to keep a secret is if it's going to harm my bestie or if my bestie is going to harm herself or maybe another person and I don't want my bestie to get in trouble or to hurt herself or someone else then I think that's the only time like if it's safety involved, then you should definitely tell somebody. But other than that, I, it's important for your friend to trust you and know, even if you're mad at me, like, I'm not going to go tell your secrets. Yeah. Um, so just, uh, this was recently. Uh, she had made a comment, kind of upset me, but I went straight to her, told her exactly how I felt. She, I mean, she told me that that's not how it was. You know, it was meant, we talked about it, and that was it. I mean, she yeah. said, I didn't mean it like that. Right. And we talked about it, but I felt comfortable to go to her. That and, was the big thing. And then for me, <clears throat> a little vulnerable here, but uh, there was one time where she had went um, with some friends uh, to the lake. And so, like, I was just in this emotional state already, and so I was kind of upset that she went with somebody else and like I didn't get invited which is weird because normally I'm not jealous but um again I had to be vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to tell her like hey this kind of bothered me uh not because I don't want you to be friends with other people but I just feel like I didn't get the same opportunity another person has gotten but again we were able to talk it out I had to be willing to tell her that we talked it out she apologized let me know exactly what it was and then we moved on have you and your bestie ever cried together? When, <clears throat> like, if she's upset about, this happened just last week, actually. She was upset about something, and I, I take those emotional, those emotional, those emotions, like, to, like, for myself. I don't right. know how to explain yeah. it, but it's like. Showing it empathy. Come, yes, empathy, 100%. Like, it's just, it's a natural thing to show empathy to one another. Like, I can feel what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you're sad. You're crying. I'm not crying. But I feel exactly the same sadness that you feel right now. 100%. Um, someone who tells your secrets 
is immediate. Acts one way, tries to embarrass you on purpose in front of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and not like in a funny, like, no, I'm going to put that up. Just tries to embarrass you altogether. Right. Because if it's not established, right, I would never try to embarrass her in front of people, like on purpose, just to get a laugh out of it for myself or for other people. Right. And so like someone who tells a joke is a friend, but someone who makes a joke out of you is crossing the boundary of being your friend, Mm -hmm. especially if they know you tend to take things serious or something like that. Um, Someone who teases you about your personal business or things that you know of, um, or someone who puts their hands on you is definitely not your friend. Um, Someone who won't let you be yourself or make you feel like you have to change and be different to be around them or hang out with them or you have to have certain things, or if you don't, those are not maybe your style of friends. Not to say they're not good friends for somebody, but maybe not for you. Um, Our personalities. <laughs> Communication, the way yes. we are with each other, the support I give her, the support she gives me. Um, if she's winning, I'm winning. Yes. If I'm winning, she's winning. Like we're, I think the support that we give each other. The support. Without any judgment. There's no competition. No, oh yeah. There's no judgment. Mm-hmm. Um, any of those. We take all the negative things and remove it. Like it's a hundred percent. I just want to see you happy. I want to support what makes you happy. Like, and I want to be there for you. And Honesty. that's it. Like, you have right. to be honest with each other too. Yeah. Like, have those hard conversations. You know, if something that they're doing isn't necessarily you know the right thing. Right. We have to have those conversations and trust that the other person isn't trying to, you know, steer us wrong. They're right. Just really just trying to help us. Like that's I think that's how we are with each other. Yes. Well now you come on spot. I was naming them off. Nah, earlier. cause I ain't. <laughs> um what else? Need a straightest, quietest person for me. Mm-hmm. There's something you should be doing right now and talking, talking ain't it. <laughs> what? Pockets on E. <laughs> All the time. Pockets stay on E. And just Everybody deserves to find their tribe, even if it's just one person. Yeah. Like, I can survive every day here because I have one person that I know is going to support me through that day. If anything happens at any moment, there's one person. Like, you don't need 18 people to say you have Mm -hmm. friends or you have support. Sometimes it's just one person in your tribe, and that might be all you need, so. But also boundaries too, mm-hmm. uh, that if she's having like a really, really rough time and I'm having a really rough time, like I can't just go in there and just like give her all right. the rough time. Like we also have those boundaries like, oh, I know she's going through it right now. Oh, I'm going through it too. Like, you know, maybe okay. to, maybe I shouldn't just go in there and unload on her just yet. Right. There's going to be that time. You know what I mean? And if I went in there and unloaded on her and just started, you know, venting, it would be okay, but like it's a respect thing. Like mm-hmm. I don't want her to feel overwhelmed, and she, you know, sometimes we get overwhelmed, but we try to respect that too. Like she's not gonna send me a text message knowing that I'm going through it. She's right. not gonna send me a text message that's gonna overwhelm me even more. Right. And I think that that those boundaries and stuff, even though we are so close and we are literally the same person, and we yeah. like, literally spend 24 hours, seven days a week together, but. Life be life in. Yeah. That's another thing. Oh, yeah. Life be life, life in. Yeah. And I think expectations, like if you have to expect somebody to do something and then them not doing it makes you mad and now you don't want to be around this person, then that's probably not you being a friend. Right. Because you shouldn't put expectations on people. You should accept them for exactly who they are and create space where they can be them and you're not judging them for that. Okay? Because I can't tell you how many times I hear like, I'm weird. And I'm like, me too, man. But people love me for that. Like, if weird is a word, like, where they say you're weird in a good way, like, that's just me. Like, I'm just me. And so people will accept you for being who you are, whether that's weird or whatever. And so anybody who expects you to be different, X them out with love. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about friendship today. Remember, if you or anybody you know has a story to tell, let me know. 
be sure to stick around for some bonus footage. Thank you. This next one is rapid fire. So try not to spend a whole bunch of time on these. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let me get ready. Let me get my okay. fast brain on. <clears throat> Would your bestie rather eat in or eat out? Eat out. Eat out. Together? Well, yeah. <laughs> what is your bestie's favorite holiday? Christmas. I don't know. Christmas? Yeah. Would your bestie ride a roller coaster? Oh, I was answering for myself. <laughs> no, definitely not. Are you gonna? I don't know if you would ride a roller coaster. Somebody would have to beg me, but initially. I'm scared no. to even go in a haunted house or do anything <laughs> scary. Probably not. But if you beg me, like you do like every do. year. <laughs> what is your bestie's most disliked chore? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Because <laughs> who wants to do that? Most is like. Uh, no, all of them. Yeah. All of yeah. them. Yeah. Does your bestie believe in aliens? <laughs> no. no. Really? Okay. Or, so, not aliens, but like certain things like are weird about like the government and maybe being in a simulation. But maybe not. <laughs> You're saying too much. You guys, we're going to get trouble on here. Edit that out. What is your... What is your bestie's skincare routine? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you do. Struggle bus? She did for a little bit. She did a skincare routine. Sometimes she puts on sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wear sunscreen. That's probably it. Uh, you just get up and go. <laughs> there's no Soap and water. <laughs> oh, you did use that derma thing because I bought one. The little suction. During COVID. Yeah, we would, during COVID. We would do our skin care routine together on your <laughs> on the phone during COVID. That's it. What is your bestie's favorite movie? Oh. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. She loves Little House on the Prairie and Lucifer and Criminal Minds. And, but movie? Movie. Oh, because of that song. <laughs> song. But I didn't. Okay. And Aladdin for Disney. Right. Yeah, that song gets you every time. It's gonna play at her wedding. It is. Oh yeah, I can't hold peace alone. Peace out.